last town yesterday. Jianwan, or something like that. I don't know. I can't even pronounce it, but it's in, written in English letters. But uh, anyway, I was just gonna start for the night. Pass out through the uh, western edge of the city the other day and just keep going. Um, but uh, I, I figured, like, it's, it's, I don't know, medium sized city. I might as well check the uh, wiki travel article, see if there's anything interesting to see here. And it turns out, not only is the Great Wall of China go through the city, but this is where it starts. Um, well, or maybe ends, depending on your perspective. But for me, this is where it starts. It's the western edge of the Great Wall of China. There it is, right there. Actually, it doesn't look like much. Um, but I've always wanted, I've always been so curious about like what the end of the Great Wall of China looked like. That's it. That's what it looks like. It just it just ends. <laughs> it's thousands and thousands of miles long, and then this is the very end right here. Um, you can see. I mean, like, it, it, I, I've always wondered. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't anybody just go around the Great Wall of China? Um, and I mean, you, you you kind of can. It's fascinating just to be here and, and check out, kind of from a military strategic point of view, what you might have done. Uh, first of all, there used to be like a big guard tower there which you could see like all over the place. And then it's right at the edge of this like huge cliff and there's a big river that goes through. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could just kind of walk around that way, go around those hills. But um, that's it. Uh, it's, been, it's, 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 it's fascinating, not only just because I wanted to observe it, but it has some significance in terms of uh, the geography of China and for my trip as well. Uh, this area that I'm in right now, the town that I just couldn't pronounce for you, Zhengyu, Jiang or something. Anyway, it um, is considered to be the mouth of China, um, indicating that it's the beginning of China, at least as far as the Ming Dynasty 600 years ago was concerned. Um, and so what I just came through was the the land of the uh, the rebels, the savages, the uh, you know the, the the frontier land, the area that uh, you know was completely off limits uh, for you know China proper, you know everybody that was. Um, esteemed and I was reading they have like a fort around here where you could like if you exit out to the west like nobody would ever see you again you know it's really considered to be out there so anyway yeah it's, it's kind of true it's an interesting illustration because you can see this is pointing to the west this is where I just came from and I mean of course we've got lots of uh, we've got like a tourist bus coming through right now but uh, yeah I mean it's it's just desert there isn't much and you turn around here's a great wall right here really need to patch this up I kind of have some problems here but uh, yeah, I've uh, ventured the city um, and of course don't get me wrong like it's not like you just enter a huge city that just goes all the way from here to the coast there's still like a shitload of desert to go through but um, <laughs> it does have some symbolism this is called this is officially the the mouth of China and then this quarter that leads into Lanzo is called the throat of China and then I suppose you get into the body of China after that or the core of China anyway all quite fascinating to me I don't know if you care at all but uh, I thought it was pretty cool <laughs>